Michael Harris with the Catamaran Company. I'm standing here in front of the new Lagoon 50. This is Lagoon's latest model to come out of the production line and it's in uh, great demand with uh, almost a year's wait uh, on a new product. So uh, we can see here that we've got uh, very wide transom steps which makes access to the boat very easy and comfortable coming from the dock or from a dinghy. Uh, talking of dinghies, we've got the uh, XL hydraulic tender lift with the wings that open out so you can walk from transom to transom and the Lagoon option Heifel 3.4 meter tender with a 20 horsepower on the outboard. So uh, why don't we go on board? So uh, this Lagoon 50 is hull number two. It's actually a three cabin owner's version. Fitted out with 13.5 kilowatt Onan generator, 64,000 BTU of air conditioning, 26 gallon an hour water maker, washer dryer, plenty of refrigeration. The boat is actually 48 foot seven long and 26 foot seven wide and has a draft of four foot seven. The rig is nearly 90 feet, so plenty of sail area and I can attest to sail very nicely. Uh, I'm an ex-captain, a uh, professional captain, and really enjoyed sailing this boat with the owner a few weeks ago. Plenty of hand holes for security, uh, flush deck hatches so you can't trip on them. Wide side decks for uh, easy access forward. We have a, uh, a seating area up here, the dedicated uh, generator locker, and a very large storage locker here two bow storage lockers. The port bow has the bow thruster housed in it. And uh, the starboard can be uh, a bow cabin, as can the port if you don't have the bow, the bow thruster. It's a Lumar 2000 watt uh, windlass with capstan. The anchor is easily deployed and uh, attach the bridle for when you're at anchor. Uh, obviously the uh, bow sprit for the Code Zero and this particular boat has the optional large carbon Vectran uh, Code Zero which is a huge sail, really increases the performance of the boat. So we're in the cockpit of the 50, as you can see, it's a very nice uh, area, very good for socializing. We've got a large table that uh, can fold out and uh, quite easily seat eight to 10 adults for uh, any kind of event. We've got access up to the flybridge with the propane locker underneath. here with optional drinks fridge and ice maker so technically this is a very good social area um, you guys can have lots of fun back here okay we've got lots of storage areas underneath the seating uh, storage in the corners access to the engines uh, the standard engines are 57 Yanmars this specific boat has got the upgraded 80s so it's got lots of power when you need it uh, we've got a uh, gas grill in the corner that uh, can rotate around for any area, any direction you want uh, with a dedicated propane locker. So very handy, very practical for, again, for all entertaining. Got easy access up to the side decks to move forwards or up to the flybridge for the secondary entrance. So good access up to the flybridge, plenty of handholds makes it nice and safe. We're up here on the flybridge and I'm going to take off the covers so we can see uh, all the equipment, nav navigation and uh, electronics.
at the helm station we've got the Brooks and Gatehouse uh, chart plotter we've got two repeaters so you can draw up uh, any kind of menu that you want the Yanmar electronic controls uh, electronic throttles got the bow optional bow thruster uh, remote chain counter all the lines are led here so you can the self tanking jib or the mainsail. But this boat has all electric winches, so it's an easy boat to single hand. Got a great social area here. You've got a seat for the helmsman. You've got the sunbathing lounges, you can keep them flat, or you can turn them into chaise lounge. So, a uh, great area for everybody to congregate when you're sailing. Uh, we've got the uh, optional hardtop bimini, which makes access to the boom really easy. The rig on the 50, it's a tall mast, high aspect ratio mainsail, a short boom, more easily managed mainsail, and of course the self tacking jib. So this boat is dead easy to single hand. A feature that I particularly like when I've sailed this boat is the continuous traveler winch. No more easing off one line and pulling in on another simple push button for left or right. Double sliding doors are standard, so you can access the cockpit or come in from the cockpit and open up the living space for, again, for more socializing. So there's an interior nav station as with uh, most of the catamarans with uh, optional electronics so you could do your waypoints and navigation from inside at any time. Uh, we have a TV on a lift here in the center and a large table that will extend and move forward, move aft to become a coffee table if it's not wanted as a dining table. Plenty of seating here for again eight to ten adults quite happily and uh, the floor is raised about uh, eight inches from the main saloon floor so that you when you're sitting you have a much better line of sight through the windows and don't have to uh, peek up out of it. Large window that can be open for ventilation when at port or at anchor and it's also good for passing through food and beverages. In the galley we've got uh, over and under stainless steel fridge and freezer and down in the port hull there's an optional additional freezer for more cold storage. You can't have too much cold storage on a boat in my opinion.
So we're in the port aft cabin. It's a nice island bed like uh, the rest of the lagoons all have. Nice big ensuite head and shower. No more wet heads. So it's really nice to uh, take a cold shower. Okay, so that's the Lagoon 50 and uh, we have availability of the boat for June of 2019 for hull 70 and then there's hull 80 is the next available. Uh, but stay tuned for the new 46 that's coming out next. Uh, the first boats will be displayed at the Dusseldorf Boat Show in January and then Miami in February. Uh, this should be a very good boat as well with similar lines and looks to the 50. So, let me know if anybody's interested. Uh, I can be reached at 954-449-4647 or michael at catamarans.com. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.